So talking about trigonometry here and the hints in the name, tri, like a tricycle, three wheels. Trigonometry is the study of triangles because they have three sides. Now you can use trigonometry with all sorts of triangles, but we're going to be limiting this few, next few videos on triangles that are right angle triangles. In this video, we're going to be labeling them. If you can't label them, you can't really work with them. Now, the first label you definitely know from your work with Pythagoras. You know that the longest side of a right angle triangle is called the hypotenuse. The easiest way to find the hypotenuse is to look at the right angle and then find the side that is directly opposite it. And that is the hypotenuse. It's also the longest side. Now, before labelling these two sides, it's important that we start talking about the angle of interest. For this particular triangle, I'm going to call this one the angle of interest, and I'm going to use this symbol to represent it. Now, that's a Greek letter. It's called theta, and you're going to talk about theta a lot. Okay, that's our angle of interest, and the way that we label these other two sides depends on where our angle of interest is. Our angle of interest could be there, or our angle of interest could be over here. Now, our angle of interest can never be the right angle. It's either this one or that one. And now what we're looking at is two identical triangles, one with an angle of interest over here and one with an angle of interest over here. And you'll see how we can label these differently. Okay, now I want you to imagine that you are standing in this room. So this is a top-down view of a triangular room, and you're going to stand at the angle of interest. Now, if you're standing at the angle of interest, if you're standing at the angle of interest, there are two walls that you could touch. You could touch the longest side, you could touch the hypotenuse, and of course you could touch the other side. You could touch this side here if you were standing at that angle of interest, and you could touch this side here if you were standing at that angle of interest. Now, the side that you can touch that isn't the hypotenuse is called the adjacent side. So, when the angle of interest is here, this is the adjacent side, and in this triangle, this is the adjacent side. Now, the word adjacent just means next to. So this is the side that is next to the angle of interest. Okay, what about the other side? Well, let's draw a arrow from where you're standing to the wall that you can't touch. The wall that you can't touch is called the opposite because it is opposite where you're standing. It's opposite the angle of interest. In this triangle, the opposite side is the side that you can't touch. That's really all you need to know about labeling the sides when it comes to right angle trigonometry. But I really wanna show you a couple more of these triangles that are kind of rotated and flipped the other way so we can practice labeling these sides. All right, so here's our first example. Let's label up this triangle. We can see that it's a right angle. We can see that there's the right angle there and there's the angle of interest there. Now the first side that I always label is the hypotenuse because it's easiest to find. Here's the right angle. The hypotenuse is the longest side. It's the one that's opposite the right angle. It's this one right here. Now I'm not gonna write hypotenuse every time. I'm just gonna use the letter H for that. Okay, now the next one that I like to find is the adjacent side. Why? Because it's the easiest to find, I think, after the hypotenuse, because it's the one that's next to theta. It's the one that if you were standing at theta, you could touch. And that means that this is the adjacent side. Now, what about the opposite side? Well, there's only three sides, so it must be the one that's left. But it is also the one that is opposite theta. And so this is our opposite side. And that's how you label a right angle triangle. It really doesn't matter how you rotate your triangle, same rules always apply. We have this triangle here, and this is how fast you should get with it. I see a right angle triangle, there's the right angle, so the side opposite must be the hypotenuse. I see the angle of interest is there, there's one side next to it called the hypotenuse, so the other one next to it must be the adjacent. And finally, the last side, the one opposite theta, must be the opposite. So you can see it doesn't matter which way you rotate your right angle triangle, how you reflect it, those simple rules will always allow you to label that triangle hypotenuse adjacent and opposite. That's how you label it up.